before starting our session we have sad news uh, for, uh, for the sad demise of uh, shrimadi patmavadi beloved mother of ihma secretary dr harish krishna uh, let's have one minute silent prayer for her Proceed. A warm good evening to one and all. Welcome to another session of IHMA CCP 2023-2024. IHMA, as you all know, is the premier organization of qualified homeopaths of India, with chapters in many major cities and in UAE too. Our motive is global acceptance of homeopathy and strives continuously to enhance homeopathy's inherent strength for safe, effective, and affordable healthcare. for the wellness of humanity the academic wing of ihma school of homeopathy led by dr jibil p aims at imparting meticulous personal training for developing skills necessary for successful homeopathy practice now let's move to our official session today our session is on the topic how to prepare and the strategies to crack apgt 2024 for this we have dr alin sara alex to speak with us She is a product of IHMA Torch online classes. She is the first rank holder in AAPGT 2023. She completed BHMS from Government Homeopathic Medical College, Calicut, and completed her internship on 20th December 20, 2022. Without any further delay, I call upon Dr. Alin Sara Alex. Over to you, Doctor. Thank you. Am I audible? Yes, yes. doctor. Okay. Hello. Uh, good evening to all. I am Dr. Alin Sara Alex. First, I would like to thank God Almighty and my parents for this great success. I also thank uh, the, the entire team of IHME for having me here. And in this session, I am here to share some preparations and strategies to crack APG to two thousand twenty-four. So let's start the section. is it visible now hello yes yes okay so let me start by uh, quoting a dream doesn't become reality through magic it takes sweat determination and hard work so all of you pre please remember this during your journey of preparation now the first thing which i am going to talk is about making the goal clear now i know that all of you are here are having a goal that is to crack apgt 2024 so you all are here and you have joined the coaching institute and you are devoting your time to study and crack the exam so having a clear goal from day one in your mind is very important because it will help you overcome all the hurdles that you will face during your preparation and the next point is always be focused during now you will be having almost 8 to 9 months to prepare so during this time try not to lose focus you will have to face many hurdles but try not to lose focus and always think about cracking the exam and getting a pg seat in a subject you desire also this should be your driving force in your preparation and i'm reminding you that you have to go through a hard time during your preparation but the result will definitely be worth it so being goal oriented in your preparation and not losing focus should be the most important thing that you should keep in your mind when preparing for apgt 2024 now the next important thing is knowing about the exam so i uh, so you all have an idea about the exam that there are 120 questions and for each correct answer you get four marks and for an incorrect answer you lose 
one mark so uh, and you have we have seen that over the years the exam is also getting tougher and uh, the pattern of questions are also changing but uh, don't worry the key to cracking this exam is understanding the concept the exam is concept based and you have to be thorough with the concepts uh, from starting onwards that is you have to learn the topic to the core and i know that it is practically not possible to study everything from first to last bhms but whatever you are learning you have to understand it well don't mug up and you have to make that particular topic clear and that will be the key to crack this exam and next is uh, practicing as many mcqs uh, that is solving previous years question papers so by doing that you will get an idea about how the uh, questions are asked and from which all topics they are asked so all these you have to know about the exam next is having a study plan of your own and always stick to a plan and revise regularly the topics and devote time for solving previous years question paper so always make a study time table that you can follow and then stick to it and uh, you all know that uh, the homeopathic subjects uh, that is the four homeopathic subjects uh, materia medica organ on repertory and pharmacy they actually all together constitute almost 50 percentage of the total questions so when you are planning your time table uh, you have to try to learn at least one homeopathic subject a day and then uh, among the allied subject uh, there is uh, pm pm gynec pm carries the most mark and pm gynec and surgery these three subjects all together almost cover 50% of the total questions so uh, when you are uh, dividing time uh, uh, for the subjects pm gynec and uh, surgery should be given maximum importance and then you have to divide your time accordingly uh, for the other subjects then uh, also study the uh, topics that are taken by the coaching classes the, that day itself so you will have an advantage that when the exam for that particular topic will be conducted you can always check yourself if you have learned that topic well and also doing the mcqs from that particular topic that day itself you can deepen your understanding about the concept also then revision revision should be an integral part during your competitive exam preparation because uh, with revision you will be able to remember all that you have learned and so you should always uh, when you are making your timetable you should always allot time for revision next is the syllabus uh, so the syllabus is all the you have to learn all the subjects from first to last bhms and as i told you before the four homeopathic subjects consist of almost 50% of total questions and among allied subjects pm ops gyne uh, ops and gynec and surgery are the most important and it covers 50% of questions from allied part so these subjects you should definitely study to the maximum and devote more time in learning these subjects and also important topics from these subjects you should be thorough and also learn as much as can you from these subjects uh, do the mcqs under each topic and make it thorough and why i am stressing about these subjects is because uh, when if you study all these subjects uh, to the maximum topics and if you cover the important topics then you can attempt as many questions from the question paper because almost 80% of the questions will be from these subjects also you have to learn the other subjects too but never miss the important topics from these subjects and focus more and devote more time when you are preparing your time table for these subjects and then the rest of the time you can divide among the other allied subjects next uh, we can compare the questions the number of questions from each subject during the previous four years so first comparing 2020 and 2021 Uh, that is uh, in 2020 uh, almost similar questions were asked uh, from the uh, from the homeopathic part that is materia medica 16 questions repertory 16 questions organon 16 questions pharmacy 6 questions and the similar in 2021 also the same questions were asked and from the allied part pm 13 questions ops and gynec 9 questions surgery 12 questions and in 2021 pm 15 questions were asked 
option guy neck 10 and surgery 13 that is almost similar questions were asked then from the allied part uh, the social and preventive medicine 10 questions anatomy six questions physiology six questions pathology six questions fmt four questions now in 2021 uh, social and preventive medicine six questions were asked anatomy six questions uh, physiology six questions path pathology six questions were asked and from fmt four questions were asked now comparing 2022 and 2023 uh, materia medica 17 questions were asked preparatory 17 questions organon 15 questions pharmacy seven questions and it is all uh, the number of questions from the homeopathic part is the same uh, but in 2023 uh, materia medica 18 questions repertory 17 questions organon 15 questions pharmacy six questions then from the allied part uh, practice of medicine 22 questions opsan gynec 10 questions surgery six questions in 2023 practice of medicine 17 questions opsan gynec 11 questions surgery eight questions then uh, social and preventive medicine five question anatomy nine physiology six pathology three fmt three questions then 2023 social and preventive medicine six questions anatomy eight physiology seven questions pathology four questions and fmt three questions so uh, as we have now known the uh, mark distribution uh, the number of questions uh, under each topic now we can uh, start uh, we can actually look into the important topics that you should never miss and you should study from these from the homeopathic su subjects as well as the allied subjects so first we can go to materia medica from materia medica you have to learn the allen's keynote is a must and many questions are asked then the peculiar rare question rare symptoms from allen's keynote also you have to study uh, Roman letters from the Roman letters also questions are asked from uh, relationship of drugs it's very important you have to learn that then aggravation and amelioration time modality common names and family you also have to study it in pharmacy and uh, many questions are also asked from this part from boric materia medica symptoms in italics is very important introduction portion of each drug you have to study also the relationship section now, uh, Allen's keynote, you have to study daily if possible. Only then you can remember the symptoms and also revise regularly so that you can remember the symptoms that you have learned under each drugs. And then uh, you have to work out as many MCQs from Materia Medica because it will help you remember the peculiar, the rare symptoms, or the frequently asked symptoms from each drug. Also, you have to study, as I told before, you have to study the common names and family because it is also coming under pharmacy, so make it thorough. And then uh, study the relationship part under each drug as many questions are asked from that part. Then you have to keep on revising. Uh, considering Materia Medica, there's a tendency to forget, so you have to keep on revising. And uh, from Boric, as I told, the italics part, introduction part are very important. And... Um, uh, and uh, I'm sure uh, I know that it is practically uh, from boric materia medica. You cannot learn all the symptoms, but at least learn the peculiar uh, symptoms uh, mentioned there, as well as uh, certain rare drugs. Because this year, uh, uh, 2023, a question was asked, and um, also practice. Now many questions are also asked from boric materia medica. So and then you can practice many um, MCQs. So. Uh, by that you can uh, study the frequently asked question repeatedly asked question and also it will uh, leave a lasting memory so uh, practice mcqs uh, in case of materia medica and uh, if you can you can make notes so that you can so a quick plan set it will help you recollect all that you've learned so if you do these and practice the mcqs then i'm sure that you will be able to answer a good number of questions from materia medica Next is Organ of Medicine. The book Organ of Medicine is very important and you have to study everything in it, starting from the preface, different editions, introduction, and the aphorisms. You have to be very thorough. The concept should be thorough. And also the uh, content is, should be also thorough because uh, this year many questions were asked from the aphorism part and uh, you have to learn it really well. And also uh, compare it Compared to other subjects, organon is easier, easier to learn. And if you know the concept, you can easily score marks. 
so this subject you should study well and score maximum marks also important is uh, ken philosophy philosophy the 12 observations is very important uh, you will definitely get the question from that part then uh, chronic disease the book is important my sm should be very thorough because many questions are asked then uh, uh, so these are the important things from organon so uh, if you learn the concepts well you can easily score from organon so study uh, well the uh, the important topics then uh, coming to repertory uh, repertory the classification uh, the evolution of repertories are all important and then the three, uh, you must definitely study the three basic repertories as well as the rubrics because many questions have are being asked from the rubric part as well as the three basic repertories then symptomatology is very important and symptomatology uh, from symptomatology many questions are also asked so you just have to read it and um, study it then uh, the uh, publication the year of publication of important repertories is also important then uh, the single medicines under the uh, important rubrics also you have to study the important repertories coming under the different classifications such as card repertories modern repertories computer repertories then concordance repertory etc and uh, uh, the, so these are the things which you have to focus while learning repertory uh, repertory then uh, is pharmacy pharmacy comparatively is a uh, you have a uh, few things to learn in pharmacy compared to other subjects so learn all of that well and if you study that you can definitely score a good mark in uh, pharmacy that is um, uh, in pharmacy you i have to focus on the different branches of pharmacy and also there are many definitions confusing definitions such as pharmacopalaxy pharmacopraxy pharmacopony and all so you have to study all that then the different pharmacopias is very important then the next important thing is sources of homeopathic drugs that you have to learn then vehicles and uh, the old and new method of mother tincture preparations also standardization of drugs weights and measures pharmaceutical instruments then external applications prescriptions and the abbreviations used in prescriptions then legislations the acts and rules they are all very important now uh, coming to practice of medicine it is a very vast subject and also a very important subject because many questions are asked so you all have to cover the portions and uh, at least try, uh, at least learn it uh, once in two days so you have to cover a lot of portions and as it is uh, the most important subject among the allied subject you have to put a little more effort in learning practice of medicine and devote more time in when preparing the timetable also uh, we know that anatomy the other allied subjects such as anatomy physiology pathology and practice of medicine they are all interconnected so by so while you are studying uh, while you are studying a particular topic in practice of medicine also cover the respective portions under the allied subjects such as anatomy physiology pathology etc so uh, by doing this what happens is that the particular topic will become more clear and you will have an in depth knowledge about that topic and also you will feel that it is easier to learn so if you have time then uh, if you can uh, then uh, study it like that way that is when you are studying a particular uh, portion in pm study the anatomy physiology pathology and also the surgical part of it so you can actually uh, you will feel that learning becomes a little more easier and then um, uh, also you have almost 8 to 9 months to prepare so uh, try it and if you can you learn it that way then uh, the next uh, subject is uh, obst obstetrics and gynecology in the uh, in this uh, in this uh, subject what you have to learn is that you have to study in detail the anatomy and as well as the physiology of the female genital tract that is very important then uh, diseases of vulva diseases of vagina diseases of ovary they are very important and from the diseases of ovary many questions are asked that is uh, tumors Uh, and uh, many questions are asked from that part so it is very important and uh, ectopic gestation is another important topic then disorders of menstruation uh, uh, this year also a question was asked uh, from that uh, 
ectopic, then prolapse, uh, displacements, fibroid of uterus, endometriosis, adenomyosis, gynecological oncologies, pelvic inflammatory diseases, tophoblastic diseases, infertility, TB of fallopian tube. Then uh, from obstetrics also, you have to be thorough with anatomy, physiology, the fertilization, the development and all. Then the other important topics are maternal changes during pregnancy, diagnosis of pregnancy, mechanism of labor, abortion, abnormal presentations, neonatal problems. So uh, compared to surgery, uh, uh, I think gynecology and obstetrics are a little bit easier to learn. So study all the important topics. Next is surgery. In surgery, general surgery is very important. The topics under such as ulcer, swellings, hemorrhage, shock, burns, they are all very important topics. Then coming to systemic surgery, the diseases of uh, venous system, arteries, lymphatics, they are all very important. Also tumors, tumors are also very important. Then the diseases of esophagus, stomach, intestines, then a liver, gallbladder, pancreas, spleen. Then hernia is a very important topic. Hemorrhoids, fistula, fissure, they are all very important topics. Then glands, coming to glands, thyroid gland, breast uh, diseases, they are all very important. Next is orthopedics, that is fracture is an uh, important topic. And then uh, also infections of bone, bone tumors, they are all important. Now, uh, coming to the uh, um, anatomy and all, I, as I have told before, when you are studying a particular uh, portion that is a system under PM, start, try to cover anatomy uh, also along with it. And the most important uh, topic among uh, the anatomy that uh, section is uh, uh, abdomen, thorax and uh, the upper limb, lower limb, etc. So study that well. Next is uh, physiology and biochemistry. In physiology and biochemistry, you have to be thorough with the cell, the different organelles, nerves, muscles, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, digestive system. So while studying PM, cover the physiology part also along with it. Then among uh, in biochemistry, vitamins is very important. Next, coming to uh, so, uh, pathology. In pathology, uh, cell injury is a very important chapter. Inflammations, wound healing, and uh, hypersensitive reactions. Many questions are asked. You have to be thorough with the different reactions as well as the examples coming under it. Then amyloidosis, edema, thrombosis, embolism. They are all very important topics under pathology and microbiology. Now, coming to social and preventive medicine. In social and preventive medicine, the first chapter, it contains many indices. So, you have to be thorough, such as physical quality of life index, human development index, all that you have to study. And then occupational health is an important chapter. From that, you have uh, ESI Act, Factory Act, all that you have to study. Uh, in APGT 2023, a question was asked from that part. From then, uh, demography and uh, family planning, that chapter is important. Environment is a very important chapter. Epidemiology also. Then health and disease. Uh, also nutrition and other health programs in India. Now coming to FMT, forensic and medicine and toxicology. The legal and ethical aspects is a very important chapter. Also identification of any individual death and postmortem changes, injuries, asphyxia, starvation, importance, sterility, pregnancy, abortion, sexual offenses, and then toxicology. Coming to toxicology, the uh, test used to identify the different poisons. It is very important because many questions are asked from that part and also some peculiar uh, properties of uh, the effects of the poisons in human body as well as certain properties of the poison such as smell etc also you have to study so these are the important points uh, so uh, i have actually i have just uh, uh, discussed a few important topics from the uh, from these subjects and next is uh, the materials so uh, with the materials uh, you have to follow the material you are comfortable with and easy to learn. And uh, nowadays, there are many materials uh, which are equipped with a lot of information as well as MCQs. So follow the material which you are comfortable with. And the materials which I followed during my preparation were 
uh, success the book from uh, the book for homeopathic subjects and then uh, my coaching institute materials such as phf target and then ihma i basic also i followed crack the entrance the book for material medica part then i solved previous years question papers from vk chauhan so uh, so follow the material which you are comfortable with and easy to learn the next is uh, practice mcqs that is i joined a few telegram uh, quiz groups and such as homeo guruji homeo mantra and homeopedia and they their quizzes were very useful they helped me in enriching uh, the uh, the different uh, topics the important topics as well as with the repeatedly asked questions so uh, this telegram quizzes will be very useful so next uh, we can uh, discuss a few questions from uh, the this year's apgt 2023 so uh, i know that most of you have only started your preparations so uh, uh, right now you may not uh, be able to answer the questions so but what i am uh, here what i want to do is that uh, to make you understand the pattern of the questions that are asked and the topics which are important so to so that you can understand from which all topics the questions are asked so first is from gynec and obstetrics uh, the question is what is the correct sequence of hormones secreted during the menstrual cycle so uh, menstrual cycle uh, as i told before it's a very important topic and you have to study the uh, order in which the cycles uh, the stages and all you have to study it very correctly so the answer to this is first the uh, is option one and uh, because uh, first uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone is released then fsh is released then in the proliferative phase estrogen is released then in the ovulatory phase lh and secretory phase progesterone so a b c d e is the correct answer next is next question is uh, spielberg's criteria is for so all these criteria uh, certain criteria with names and all you have to study because they are all frequently asked and spielberg's criteria is for ovary then commonest position in vertex presentation the commonest first all those questions you have to learn because they are frequently asked so this uh, questions answer is uh, loa Uh, ne next question which of the following chromosomal anomaly is commonly found in klinefelter syndrome so this um, most of you will be knowing that is 47 xxy then torsion of ovary most commonly is seen in so most commonly i uh, earlier i told you that most commonly first all these questions uh, they are frequently asked so you have to pay attention and study them that is uh, in this question the answer is dermo dermoid cyst then the next question is the most common cause of female infertility that is ovulatory dysfunction next coming to organoid uh, most of the questions from, were from aphorism part so you have to be thorough with the aphorism then the question is most appropriate regimen during treatment of chronic disease so the regimen of cr chronic disease is very clearly mentioned in aphorism uh, 261 and uh, the answer is uh, a b c and d that is first option that is intellectual recreation active exercise in open air in almost all kind of weather nutritional and medicinal food and drink removal of obstacle to cure next question is according to gt ken two short relief of symptom in acute disease because of so uh, uh, the observations the 12 observations of gt ken is very important and you will definitely get the question from that so and also you have to be clear with the concepts of all the 12 observations and the answer to this is uh, it is the sixth observation so in acute case a two short relief of symptoms in acute disease is because of very high grade inflammatory action and the organ affected thereby threatened so uh, option 2 is the correct answer that is b is the correct answer now next question uh, vital force creates local affection in a chronic disease so all these questions can be confusing if you are not thorough with the aphorism so uh, this uh, this question is from the aphorism uh, 201 uh, and the answer to this is to silence the internal disease for some time so option 
next is the most prolific source of the all the innumerable named or unnamed chronic maladies under which mankind groans so this question uh, the answer is external mode of treatment and is clearly given in the aphorism uh, 203 so uh, you have to be careful uh, uh, when learning the aphorisms as well because many questions are asked and if you are thorough, if you are thorough with the concept you can easily uh, answer those questions so next question is alcohol was first used for preparation of medicine by so alcohol was first used by hanuman this is also mentioned in the aphorism next is repetitive part so in repetitive part uh, nowadays uh, they are uh, many questions are from the rubrics part so this question if you take for example if you do, do not have an idea about where in which chapter uh, this rubric is coming you will not be able to answer this so by learning please pay attention to all these that is uh, patient come with symptom of burning in soles at night in this context arrangement of rubric according to ken separatories so here the answer is extremities pain first option that is extremities pain burning lower limb foot sore night so that is the answer uh, the next question in repertory is repertory in the repertory of homeopathic materia medica by kent which of the following chapters have given rubric freckles so the answer is skin and nose that is uh, option 3 a and c only next question in which of the following chapter of gpb prostate is mentioned Uh, the answer is urinary organs so the three basic repertories can uh, tpb and uh, the bbcr repertory you have to study it in detail the year of publication and all the details that are coming in it also the rubrics because many questions are asked so uh, you have to learn it next is uh, in tendo achilles is mentioned in which of the following section of tpb it is in lower limb lower extremities next is materia medica uh, from materia medica uh, there were may, uh, many questions from boric repertory were also asked uh, so uh, first question is uh, match the following uh, so here uh, uh, we may know that nitric acid has bloody saliva so only here if you look closely in the options only one option uh, you have nitric acid as bl bloody saliva so even if you know uh, just one match correctly you can answer it correctly so a certain match the following questions will have that uh, uh, that in their answer so if you are lucky you can get it correctly so uh, uh, the answer to this question is uh, option uh, that is nitric acid is uh, bloody saliva so uh, option 4 uh, is the right answer that is pulsatilla sweet saliva uh, then nitric acid bloody saliva then uh, echinacea is uh, so saliva and calibite is visit saliva so that is the answer then next is a medicine that has a specific place in the treatment of dysentery and the symptoms are worsened by food and drink so this question is taken from the boric materia medica the answer is trombidium next question is want of breath in those engaged in athletic sports in old people in those who use tobacco and whiskey to excess this is a uh, mentioned in uh, keynote so answer is coca and next question is which of the following nosodes have a predominantly hemorrhagic tendency so in this question you see that lactus is also having hemorrhagic tendency but the question is which of the following nosodes have a predominantly hemorrhagic tendency so the answer is cecal or cornutum so all these tricky questions you have to be careful while answering next is pathology and microbiology in uh, pathology you have to remember certain named pathological uh, body such as uh, malaria body howell jolly bodies etc so these question so from these portions questions are usually asked so first question malaria bodies are present in which of the following condition it is in alcoholic hepatitis then howell jolly bodies are seen in which of the following condition that is post splenectomy Uh, from fmt uh, as i told before that uh, questions are asked uh, from uh, the test to detect the specific poison so in here the match the following you have to match it with the test to detect that particular poison so here um, opm is markets test so most of you will be knowing that 
and then hydrocyanic acid is a Lejeune's test. So based on that, the option is um, two. Option two is the correct answer. That is arsenic. Uh, it will be atomic absorption spectrometry. Then opium Marcus test, hydrocyanic acid Lejeune's test, and carbon monoxide Kunkel's test. And next uh, question is, in case of drowning, gastric mucosa shows micro ruptures due to air stretching as a result of ingested fluid. This is called, it is called third sign. So all these signs, named signs, uh, criteria, and also uh, all these you have to learn because they are all frequently asked questions. Next is community medicine. Uh, community medicine, according uh, the first question is, according to biomedical waste management rules, 2000 uh, fetus below the viability period should be collected in, uh, it is should be collected in yellow colored non-chlorinated plastic bag. So this biomedical waste is, uh, management and all you have to learn because questions are asked from that part. Next is under the Employee State Insurance Act, duration of extended sickness benefit is for a maximum period of so uh, as i told before that uh, occupational health the ch chapter is very important there are factory acts and uh, uh, esi acts and all so you have to be you have to study that uh, topic well and the answer to this question is two years next is a pm uh, from pm uh, these type of questions are asked that is which of the following statements are correct and, the, uh, and all these questions are all asked. So if you compare the uh, four statements, uh, the first statement that is cold abscess is almost always a sequelae of tubercular infection in the body, commonly in the lymph node and bone. This is a correct statement. And basal cell carcinoma is the most common malignant tumor of the eyelids. This is also a correct statement. And next statement is commonest type of primary malignant tumor of thyroid is follicular carcinoma. So this is an incorrect statement and commonest type of malignant tumor of thyroid is papillary carcinoma. The next, uh, the next statement is Mallory waste tear is a horizontal tear at the gastro duodenal junction. This is also a wrong uh, statement because Mallory waste tear is a horizontal tear at the esophagogastric junction. So the answer to this question is uh, option A and B, that is two. Next is a Stelvac sign. So all these signs you have to learn because many questions are asked. Then uh, Stelvac sign is related to primary toxic goiter. Then next is also a match the following question. So in this a post-infectious glomerulonephritis, uh, that all of you may be knowing, uh, the antibody is ASOT. Then uh, when you come to uh, good pastor syndrome, the antibody is anti-GBM antibody. And then a uh, small vessel vasculitis, the antibody is P, A, and C, A. And for SLE, it is A, N, A. So the option is, uh, fourth option is the correct answer. Next is surgery. Uh, in From surgery, uh, uh, the ulcer, ulcer chapter is very important. And here, uh, this year, two questions were asked. That is, Hanna's ulcer is interstitial cystitis. And Basin's ulcer is erythrocyanoid ulcer. Then the most common primary malignant tumor of thyroid is papillary carcinoma. Next from pharmacy, uh, the legislations, that chapter is very important. You have to study the acts as well as the rules. And here the question is, which section of the drugs and cosmetic rule provides the rules regarding prohibition of quantity and percentage of ethyl alcohol? The answer is 106B, that is option two. Then uh, the next question is following homeopathic drugs are prepared under class 5A of old Hanumanian method. So uh, which of the following uh, that is which of the following is not? That is the question. So um, uh, except except is the question following homeopathic drugs are prepared under class 5A of old homeopathic uh, Hanumanian method except except is the question. So uh, you have to be careful uh, in uh, when uh, reading and when answering these type of questions. And here uh, from 5A um, acetic acid, uh, then ammonium ureaticum and arginine nitricum are prepared under class 5A. And acidum mensuicum is prepared under 6A. So the correct answer will be, which is not prepared under 5A is acidum mensuicum. 
Then the next question is arrange the following number of monograms according uh, monographs according to their chronological order of publication of homeopathic pharmacopoeia of India. So this homeopathic pharmacopoeia of India, the year of publication uh, is very important. So when you're learning, you have to uh, learn it in the chronological order, order itself because questions are, are asked. So the answer to this is option uh, two and uh, the order is 100, uh, 107, 140, then 104 and 101. Next is from anatomy. Anatomy, uh, which one of the following makes medial boundary of femoral ring? So uh, this uh, qu this question answer is lacuna ligament. So you have to in anatomy the focus area should be uh, uh, the questions will be asked from uh, abdomen, from thorax, and from uh, the lower limbs uh, as well as the upper limbs. Next is physiology. From the physiology, uh, the questions uh, which was asked was second most abundant anion in extracellular fluid. So uh, in extracellular fluid, the abundant anion is chloride, but the second abundant, uh, second most abundant anion in extracellular fluid is bicarbonate ions. Next is assertion and reason questions. Uh, we, we can expect a lot of assertion and reason questions uh, in the coming years because uh, they are all asked uh, here uh, this year also. So uh, in this question, uh, there are two statements. One is labeled as assertion A and the other is labeled as reason R. And assertion is that there are some medicines like Ignatia, Baldona, Rustox, Bryonia, whose power of altering man's health consists chiefly in alternating actions. So this is a correct statement. And uh, reason R, it is a kind of primary action symptoms that are in part opposed to each other. So this is also true and uh, it is the correct explanation of, uh, reason is the correct explanation of assertion. That is, this Ignatia, Baldona, Rustox, Bryonia are all uh, alternating actions and they are primary action symptoms. The next is a statement type of question. In statement type of question, uh, you cannot actually, if you don't, if you're not sure about the two statements, it's better not to guess because in statement type of questions, you have to be absolutely sure. You have to absolutely know about the two statements because the options will be both statement one and two are correct, both are incorrect or one is correct and other is wrong. Like that it will be. So it's better not to guess to... Uh, to avoid negatives but in uh, earlier i told you about certain match the following questions in those questions if you can uh, at, at least match one uh, option and you're sure about it and if there is no other option with that match then you can go for it because uh, it is it will definitely be correct but in these statement type of questions uh, it's actually better not to guess because mostly more probability will be for the answer to be wrong so only if you're sure about the st two statements, you have to answer these type of questions. So in this question, uh, the statement one is that Cullen's sign is positive in ruptured ectopic pregnancy. It is a true statement. And the statement two, Boa's sign is positive and chronic tonsillitis. So in this statement is wrong. So the answer to this question is option uh, three. That is statement one is correct, but statement two is incorrect. Next is not accept type of questions. So these are really tricky that when you are uh, when you are actually appearing for the exam, you may not actually see these words. So uh, you have you will have a tendency to mark the wrong answer. So always be careful. And whenever you are do, doing MCQs, practicing MCQs, uh, you have to attempt all these types of questions so that so that you will get a practice how to answer these type of questions. So first question is that which of the following rubric is not mentioned in the generalities chapter of the Ken's repertory. So here uh, generalities chapter uh, which uh, the rubric which is not represented in generalities chapter is asked and the answer is menopause. Uh, then menopause is in female genitalia. Then uh, lymph capillaries are absent in all except that is in dermis. Then, uh, which of the following rubric is not given in section of phase of Burning Horsen's therapeutic book? 
here comedones yellow saddle upper part of the cheeks and nose and drawn they are all mentioned in face and the one that is not mentioned is parotid gland so uh, by discussing all these questions i wanted to make uh, you aware of the pattern of the questions and uh, you uh, also to make you understand that learning the concepts is the most is a important way that, through which you can crack the exam and also you will get an idea about the topics from which they are asked so finally i have to say this to all of you that is stay positive work hard and make it happen and um, i wish all the future aspirants for who are preparing for abg to apgt 2024 a great success and thank you and now if you or if you and if you have any doubts you can ask me Okay, doctor. We think we can wind up. Uh, no, okay. Sanjay. We have our participants in our uh, WhatsApp. Oh, okay. If they want to ask the questions, okay. Or uh, anybody having any doubts regarding the session which uh, now uh, Dr. Anil sir has taken, please put it in the chat box. Uh, Sanjay, read the questions, okay? Okay. For homeopathy subject, uh, you are not referring uh, basically. Please inform books uh, again. She, they want to know about the books. Okay. Uh, for the homeopathic uh, part, I used uh, the book Success. I mainly prepared from that book, but I also uh, prepared from uh, I Basic as well as uh, the my other coaching platform books and all. And then uh, mostly I used it for uh, preparation of allied part. Success is a very good book, and uh, there are many MCQs also. Uh, uh, also, uh, there are many questions uh, that are repeatedly asked from previous. Papers. So, if you can uh, solve those questions, it will be very helpful during your preparation. For Materia Medica, I used crack the entrance, and for solving previous year question papers, I used uh, V K, the book by V K, Doctor V K Chauhan. For medicine, uh, and then for all the light part, I used PHF target and IHME I basic. They are asking how many hours to study. Uh, it is if you if you don't have any other engagements, you can actually. Uh, you, it's it's based on how. how much you can learn a day that is uh, without getting tired so if you ask me you have to uh, if you don't have any other engagements you can study for 6 to 8 hours and uh, you can divide your subjects uh, as i told you before uh, uh, actually uh, consider considering the number of questions from the different subjects you can divide your time wisely among the uh, subjects is it clear uh, for allied part i used uh, i uh, ihme i basic and phf target book uh, and also i've solved uh, many uh, previous question paper uh, question papers also for the allied part and then um, also i told you before the telegram quizzes are very helpful uh, for the allied part because you will get many uh, you will it will also It help you get a lot of uh, topics. Uh, it will help you to learn a lot of topics, which uh, also and it will also help you to know the repeated questions that are asked from that particular topic also. Uh, 
uh, first uh, the as i told you before the exam is concept based so simply doing mcqs is actually a waste of time because you will uh, eventually forget it uh, at first i also used to do many mcqs before studying the concept first so uh, what i felt is that all those if you are doing at, at that moment you will remember it but when you are having a question uh, about that topic you will not be able to answer it so if you are finding a mcq from a topic which you have not learned then it is best to study that concept first and then do the mcq also uh, when you are when you are learning a particular topic and then after that when you are doing mcqs it will actually uh, it will increase your knowledge about that particular topic and uh, in exam if you are getting a question from that uh, topic you will be able to answer correctly too so uh, studying the concept first and then doing mcq i, I think it will be the best way uh, in your preparation for material medica i followed crack the entrance book and if you can you can uh, i i will uh, uh, i will insist you all to buy the book because it is a very book a very good book and you can uh, compare the different symptoms of the drug also and also there are uh, for the mcqs there are many mcqs also uh, available in that book so you can practice it also so it will help you in your in the preparation so in, in your preparation of material medica Crack the entrance, uh, the book for Materia Medica. Thank you. Are there any further doubts? You can clarify it right now. Now, as you have almost eight to nine months to prepare, I, th I think at least three months you have to uh, uh, actually uh, allot for revision because uh, revision will help you learn, uh, will help you remember all that you've learned. And also in between also, uh, when you're preparing study and timetable uh, in a week, you have to allot also time for revision because uh, integral part in uh, actually cracking this competitive type of exam is revision itself because when you're learning a lot of uh, information uh, if you don't revise it you will uh, definitely forget it and uh, if you revise it you it will remain in your memory for a long time so revision is very important and uh, you have to uh, whenever you are learning something you also have to revise it
Are there any other doubts? Medicine, I I told you before itself, it's a very vast subject. So uh, learn as much as you can from the topics because uh, a wide variety of questions are nowadays asked from different topics as well. So uh, uh, so the named things and all you have to definitely study certain criteria. Uh, so they are all very important science and all very important and uh, the all the sim systems uh, as much as you can you have to study because it is very important and many questions are also asked from that particular topic i hope you all have an idea about how to prepare for the exam and i wish you all the best for the future apgt 2024 preparation Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sarah. That was quite informative and useful. On behalf of IHMS School of Homeopathy, we can and Thank you. Now, I would like to give a short information on this year's IHMA CCB program. Uh, the course is in two points online and online. will be conducted in time and during the entire syllabus. India's top as per the latest exam pattern comprehensive digital notes for conceptual learning, structured classes for all round prepar preparations, and much more. This year, uh, our basic package is starting from rupees 4000, and we have two combo overs. Combo one includes 150 hours live online class plus offline class, uh, 200 plus hours of previous ECP with iBasic, 100 hours of HD recording videos, question bank plus online notes. This will be uh, under uh, about 12,000 rupees with ordinary membership and rupees 10,000 for IHMA live members. Uh, the combo two includes 150 hours live online class plus 200 plus hours of previous ECP videos I basic uh, plus 100 hours of ST recording, question bank, and online notes. This will be rupees 10,000 with ordinary membership and 9,000 for IHMA life members. For any further queries and registration, you may contact our coordinators. Once again, I thank all those who have attended this session and made well use of it. Thank you all.